It's as clear as snow falling on a Christmas day. There you go. Which is, hey? Poetic. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so look, it's not straightforward. He has caused all these problems. Um, so we're going to um, get Becca to talk about what's happened, and there have been errors, and we acknowledge those. We need Jeff here if he's going to be involved. If he wants to. And then we're going to take some advice from the chief executive about the next steps. All right. Should I try to find? All right. Well. Well, we have to carry on because we haven't got enough time in the day. So, Becca, would you please explain to us what happened with the process? Sure. So, um, firstly, we just need to apologise. There have been some errors um, in terms of the governance process behind, in terms of recording what the decision-making and how that's happened. So, uh, first of all, the recommendation to council was the incorrect one. So, Dave, you were... You were correct on that, so the actual recommendation and the agenda was incorrect. Um, and going back and looking at the actual, the correct recommendation, which was that the the application for the speed limit was voted down, which in effect means that it was declined. We have an issue just in terms of delegations, and um, my recommendation is that we just seek some legal advice and bring that back early on the new year, just to make sure that we're doing the right thing and not putting ourselves at risk by getting questions around the process, that would be the recommendation going forward. Okay, can I ask a question on that, please? Um, what concerns me is that the protagonists in this, foodstuffs, uh, have intimated that they might be challenging it, not that they will, um, in a legal sense. So they may be spending money on that. We may end up spending money just on that part of it in the meantime, because we're not talking about uh, meet, being able to meet for another seven weeks, I think I'd be about right. So how do we put a hold on for everyone and say, Tai Ho, we're having a look at how we're going to handle this so that they, no one wastes money um, and I guess if I'm foodstuffs, I'm saying not that not that I have hold a candle for them, but I'm saying, hang on a minute, we could have started the earth. Work. Well, they already have started the earthworks. Actually, we could have done more of the earthworks and started put in planning applications and things if it had gone the other way on this day. So, while I think getting legal advice is good, the time of the year is going to cause us some. Timing, big timing problems potentially that may exacerbate some of what's happened. Um, I think getting legal advice would also give us a, but would give us a clear path on the process that we've followed, and and the delegations of the committees that were involved, and the way that the recommendations been reported to council. And, and I, I accept what you're saying, Councillor Dave, and I'd, I'd probably talk to our legal advisors, it'll have to be tomorrow, just around how we handle the, the applicant um, involved and the advice that we give them. I, and I get what you're saying around them spending money and taking action and that sort of thing. Um, so, so I don't have a definitive answer on that. I think f for me, in a normal situation, you talk to people um, it might be, have to be without prejudice just to let them know um, about what has happened, but we'll, I think we need to take advice on that because we're going to get into a legal pickle here. Well, can we get them talked to to explain what's happening before the end of this week? Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. I think what we need to do is talk to our lawyers first and just get some advice from them about how we do that in a way that we keep the council safe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, there are a couple more questions, but I, I am going to change my motion to be one that asks that we put lighters on the table pending legal advice and that we work, we talk with foodstuffs to make sure that they're certain of the process. Something like that. And I, uh, sorry, accepting that, um, our process, we don't know whether it's delegated authority or not. Are we also saying that? Yeah, so that's what we're looking into, right? 
So it's Council's <coughs> delegated authority. The issue is that how the motion was worded, there was no recommendation officially that came from the IO committee as a recommendation to Council. So that, that's just an issue that we need to work through. And just so the wording of the motion didn't have that we recommend this to Council? Correct, in terms of how it was, how it was worded. And but the it was that supposed it to be a recommendation? It was supposed to be a recommendation okay. to Council. So if it had gone through the way it was worded would have been okay, but seeing and as it didn't, the, the uh, essentially the declining of it. Sorry, sorry, point of order. These guys behind us are saying it did have the words on it to go to council. I was so. just trying to look up the minutes, but I can't. If it did have the words that it recommend that it go to council, then it's simply a matter of the wrong uh, minute being in front of us today to vote, which is a procedural correction. Is all. It doesn't need the legal advice for that. Um, but if it didn't have the word recommendation to council, then that's right. But I thought that was what was being checked. But where would we find the minutes? I can't, don't even know where that is. Archive books, did you say, Rob? I, sorry, I just need to clarify. The motion was a it was a recommendation to council that was lost. So in effect, it still can come to. So if it was a, so if the so we're getting reported back here the minutes of the infrastructure operations committee meeting, and the recommend the minutes will say here's the recommendation that was put up that was lost. So if it's that must give this meeting the opportunity to uh, accept or not that decision. That I don't see yeah. any that's that's just standing orders. Yeah, that's it's just the, the wording's opinion. not quite clear, but in effect, yes, because the motion was to, was voted down, in effect that it was declined the application. Yeah, but, but this this meeting has to accept that declining. That's yes. how um, decisions of hearing committees work. But it um, was we, 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 we ratify or accept or whatever the word is, except but we can't that, change. But we except that the issue is looking into who is delegated to make the decision. The council can make the decision. Yes, yeah, so the council can make the decision. Yep. Yeah. So I'd, I would like to move that um, the original staff recommendation from the Infrastructure Operations Committee be what is accepted by this meeting. But that wasn't what was appro approved, was it? But it can't. Yeah. But it wasn't what was improved. So it's a it's it's a change from the previous, isn't it? Yeah. But that that, that that's standard. You can move. You can you can move yeah, something. I know, I know it's standard. But we just want to make sure there's no risk. Um, help us out here. What are you suggesting? Report, um, staff report that was item seven on the seventh of December, twenty eighteen, um, was a recommendation to council that we receive the report, note the feedback and that the Infrastructure Operations Committee recommends that the Council A approves the speed limit on section Waiwiri Drive between Arthur Porter and Phuketi from 80 to 60, and B notes the new speed limit will come into effect in conjunction with the construction of traffic lights, etc., etc. And, and that, and that, that was, was lost. lost. And that was lost, yeah. OK, Lance has got that's, to be away. So, I, so I, that's what I want to move. So if, so if you want to vote on it today, you need to bear in mind that the wording was very clumsy and messy because um, rather than saying that it was declined and then that was a recommendation to council, there was, it was about approving it and then that was voted down. It was going to be the Infrastructure Ops Committee recommends that the council approves the speed limit. That got voted down and then the minutes come here of that. Yeah. So it, it, it would have been cleaner the, that saying that it was recommended to council that, that, the, that it was declined, the speed limit... Um, application for so and so was declined. Yeah, so it would be the motion here would be that council approves the uh, which I don't the, the decision the decision the decision of council to reject. Yeah. No, I've got just got to find the um, what page of the minutes, Rob? Did you? Oh no, no, I'm reading from the report. I haven't got the minutes. So what we can do is just clarify a new motion that basically gives the effect yeah, of that, new motion that and put it up there. And, we'll, up there. and we'll get these yeah. words up so you know what we're talking yeah. about. Yes, it's a little please. bit confusing. OK. Thanks. I think... Well, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't think I've got
We can't. There are a number of councillors, including the chair of infrastructure, is not available for this discussion we, we today. Can't, we're not changing the decision. Letting that be done. You find me there. Oh, okay. I thought he was trying to get it recorded that we hadn't approved. I've never looked up archives before. Well, we had five, but not? they're not under council. <laughs> it's not under count, is it? Oh, I see. What you're doing, yeah. Do you want to take a vote from the car? Put your. Um, yeah. That's the. Oh, you got the yeah, paperwork. It's probably yeah, incoming so on Zoom. Can we? Um, we were resolved to first to not defeat that. Just, yeah, sure. there was yeah. a motion just that tell Paul that you'll be on Zoom. So this would be just the, the council. Yeah. Mm. A, B, C. Yeah. So you so it, it, it should have had, it should it, have had another motion then. Um, it would have been far cleaner if it was a does not um, approve. Yeah. But I can move that the council A approves the speed blood, B notes, C requests. Yeah. yeah. So it's just the same wording except the top line would be that the Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So what what was being recommended to council was the the, the motion that lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be just that, the yeah, council, that's what, that's, ABC. That's what they're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. you're likely to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> but hey? have, you, have you done the numbers? It's just messy yeah. the way that... The only reason I'm bringing it up again is because of a couple of people who voted the other way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the way yeah, that yeah. was, no, I didn't ask because because the recommendation yeah, of the council is the lost yeah, mo yeah, about correct. the motion being lost, yeah. and it's a bit clumsy the yeah, wording. It's a double, yeah. double negative. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but, so I'm just going back to the original, yeah. 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 which I at this which is approved. Approves it. Approves yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry, you're, you're approving it or defining it. Sorry, Becca. Oh, no. Sorry, are you defining the decline? No, no. I'm just saying the motion that I'm going to want to move in relation to. Is that? That the council. Yeah. A, B, C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How long will you be, Max? Yeah, you'll have to put yours in time to. Yeah, it'll go through my car anyway. So yeah. that would be I'll drive yeah. carefully anyway. Um, so.
let's go. Let's, let's, okay, everyone, if we can just pay attention here so that we can get through the, the business, because I think we're all, we're all there. Uh, so I am going to move the staff recommendation because that, the committee recommendation, yeah, because that was from the committee, and I think the fairness of debate. Does somebody second yeah, it? Yes. Councillor Wilson, thank you. Otherwise, it wouldn't even come on the table, which would be really peculiar. Uh, Councillor McPherson, and who's the seconder? Thank you. Okay. Uh, I've got a procedural question. Procedural, yes, please. Um, it has been a policy in council over a number of years where if a committee doesn't have delegated authority that the chair of the particular committee is advised in advance of the motion or the issue being re-debated as a courtesy for all of us then to know this is going to happen. Governance, first of all, can you confirm whether or not that is in fact uh, a policy that has occurred. Or is and, it just a protocol? Uh, and secondly, if it has occurred in this case. Yeah. So it was always meant to come back to Council as a recommendation from the committee. So the wording of the motion was that it come back to Council to be approved. So there was always going to be an opportunity at the Council meeting to discuss this. Um, and it's not a policy as such, but yes, you know, generally we would, if we could, if it was possible, um, it, but the chair you, did know that this item was coming back to this committee as a recommendation. And are you aware whether or not the chair of that committee was made aware that this item was to be re-debated? Um, it was always an option as a recommendation to council for something right. to come back to council to be re-discussed. Madam, Madam Chair, uh, where is the chair is here? The acting, the acting chair is here. The acting chair is with us on Zoom. Mm. Um, right, we need to, yeah. So yeah. I guess that's the question to Councillor Sarah. With so, so, point of order, the question was to the governance manager, is it policy? She says it's not exactly policy. Well, I hear that. So that's I accept that. That's he now wants to know to whether the Councillor... Not now, a policy. I hear that, Dave. Let, let's make progress. And he, Ewan also wanted to know if Councillor Leary, as the chair, or Councillor uh, Thompson were alerted to this. Which I think is a fair question, Sarah. You can can you uh, can you answer that? Um, alerted to this particular motion being uh, recalled. It's, a, it's irrelevant. No, it's what's, not. A, what's the? Why are we discussing oh, that before it, we get on to the? He's, he's entitled to ask the question. He's getting an answer. No, they didn't ask the question. He made a point we, of order. We didn't receive any anything from staff around this. Okay. Right. Okay. That question has been answered. Let's move uh, qu on. Qu question to, uh, sorry, ma but Madam Chair. But it was a resolution, and therefore, as yeah. it was intended to come. Uh, just here. a follow-up question right? to the governance manager, right Paula. Mm. Is there? Can I ask the government here? Is there anything legally stopping this council discussing and making a decision on the recommendations and amendments up no. there? No. Thank you. No. We got. We we got that. Up. There, after a laborious process, we, we're all on the same page. So let's now go into debate. If um, uh, Paula, sorry, I had one one question. Sure. Um, if that's okay, just very quickly. So I understand just hearing that there's nothing stopping us making this decision. Is there any concerns, residual, residual concerns around the process that is being undertaken here? Um. In terms of the recommend, the, the, the original minutes basically say that this is a recommendation to the council. So the recommendation to the council was that, in effect, by declining, by uh, voting against the motion to approve the speed limit, was essentially that they that it's mm -hmm. declined. Um, it's just the wording's a little bit clumsy, as Lance explained earlier, but there's nothing legally stopping. In fact, this, the legal process is that it comes to council as a recommendation and that was the original intent, and so that was what the minutes said. There was an error in the agenda in terms of the wording, which we have clarified. Right, so Councillor Hamilton, question? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, maybe on that motion, 
Pukiti Road to be deceased? Is that the speed to be decreased? <laughs> I think it's a very appropriate <laughs> typo. <laughs> Okay, let's um, it's a, let's go into any debate if there is. Uh, I'm the mover. I'm just going to say why I'm putting that up. I do accept uh, we had a really long, long and technical debate on the day and it did get very messy at one point. Um, but I, be, and I can't speak for Councillor O'Leary because she's not here. Um, but um, I did feel it was really important to put the recommendation that was one on the day up for our consideration, mindful of the fact that um, part of the reasoning for that was that there was the pre preferred approach uh, when we went to consultation. More people wanted it to be retained at its original speed than reduced. Is that not right? Chris? Oh, I'm in debate. Anyway. I'm in debate, so I should have asked you that. But... Um, yeah, look, let's let's make a decision um, either which way, out of fairness to the company, so they can progress their work. Councillor McPherson. Thank you, um, Mayor Paula. Um, look, I'm not going to go into any great detail on this. More to talk about the process here. Notwithstanding various points of order before, and things like that. It's always open to council to accept or reject a recommendation by a committee, if, if that's the, how the delegated authorities work. And in this case, um, I've been given information that various people around council, council table have had second thoughts about the decision that was made at the Infrastructure Operations Committee. And given that this is the place where the final decision gets made, it would be wrong not to test that again at this stage. It would be wrong on behalf of Hamilton. I think the original decision was wrong, but I'm not going to relitigate the arguments there. I'm simply saying this is the place where the final decision is made and anyone that's had a change of mind, and all of us have changed our mind from time to time on other issues, um, this is their second opportunity and their final opportunity to make that decision. Plus, I think it's much better for us to do that now and allow the developers um, a clean decision rather than a wait for several weeks over Christmas, which I think would be the, the worst of all possible worlds for both them and the council. I don't particularly like these developers for various mm. reasons, but I think they've followed the right process. I think the staff recommendation was made, and I'm wanting to put that back up for a second test. Councillor Taylor, Deputy Mayor Taylor. Thank you, uh, Mayor Southgate. Yeah, look, I... I um, I'm not normally one to agonise over decisions. Um, I, I'm perhaps too sure of my decisions sometimes, too black and white. And uh, I think um, over five years on council, I've very rarely looked back and thought, bugger. Um, on this occasion, I have agonised over the decision after we made it. And uh, yes, I absolutely don't feel the speed limit on that stretch of road should be lowered. Yes, I absolutely feel that uh, there's too much, uh, there's too many traffic calming measures going in around town, there's too many raised platforms and it gets to me. Uh, yes, I think the process was a little flawed whereby traffic engineers, in effect, I felt painted us into a bit of a corner by insisting that if traffic lights went in, uh, we were gonna have to lower the speed. But do I want to stop uh, a supermarket going ahead in a part of town uh, which wants it? Not really. Uh, I think in retrospect, I was a little too bullish on it. Um, and I don't often change my mind, but I have on this one. Uh, and I absolutely acknowledge the weight of submitters was in support of keeping the speed. Um, but on this occasion, I actually think the right thing to do is to, um, to let this one go. It's a relatively small compromise. 
And uh, so this time I will actually be supporting lowering the speed limit to 60 k's on that stretch of road. Councillor Wilson. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mayor Paula. Um, I actually don't disagree with Councillor McPherson in regards to the process. Uh, if this has come from the committee and the standing orders, oh, sorry, the uh, delegations required ratification at council, that is absolutely appropriate and I have no difficulty with it. I also, uh, in some ways, celebrate the opportunity because it's reminded me that on critical issues at a committee level that, is delegated, uh, that isn't delegated and that needs ratification, that we will be able to re-litigate uh, each of these issues when they come back to full council. And I'm mindful because that will change a lot of decisions because Manga Māori who can participate on a committee won't be able to participate at council, but of course that will be mitigated in a year or so. So I look forward to that. I do remind everybody in this chamber there had been a good faith policy that um, elected members who had an intention to call an item would notify governance uh, and the chair of the committee, and that was basically in play to enable everybody who was sort of involved to be involved again, because in this particular case, um, uh, there are three people who aren't here that were there in the past. Um, but I accept that, and I will potentially enjoy the opportunity uh, in the future. Let me now focus on the critical issues. What I did hear through the process was that the AEA, on behalf of their members, said this was not a good idea. What I do remember is this council went out to its community and followed proper consultation process, and 80%, 80% of those who responded, and there were well over 700 responses, said this is not a good idea. I'm reminded yet again that this council in its wisdom has its own speed management policy and programme and that that very programme in 2019 happened to do an analysis in this particular road and said reducing the speed limit was not appropriate. Now, I would not like to venture or suggest what may have motivated a change of heart from some but I'm assuming it's not the overwhelming support to keep the speed limit from the AA. And I'm assuming it's not the 80% of submissions we've had. And it's clearly not the fact that our own policy. So I'm not quite sure why there's suddenly be a change of heart. But I respect that in this chamber, you are allowed to have a change of heart and that we do get to re-debate it. And here we are. But that's why I'm supporting the original motion. But I respect the fact that you can call it and vote the other way. Cool. Thank you. Councillor Bunting. Yeah, this one physically hurts, because um, I'm quite embarrassed. Um, and I'm very, very worried about this now. Um, this, what we've just been through in the last hour, is a lawyer's dream. Um, we've. This is the only issue that I've actually read a transcript on our debate. Um, this is the one, if you remember, uh, you and made that brilliant quote about the cheese coming off the cracker. And um, this is how litigious this particular issue is. So I'm finding myself in a position of, in the best interest of council, actually uh, supporting the amendment. Because even though it goes against what I voted last time, I think we are, you know, we're going to get this is the least expensive option. That's my rationale behind this. Um, I, I, really, I really don't like it. However, having said that, this has been done before. We've brought this back, and I remember in one of the community committee things quite recently, where we came back with... Was that? Did you say that Jeff has obviously sorted you out? No, i tell you what, we've had more debate this afternoon than... Don't start. Um... <laughs> We, we came back with the arts policy with regards to the arts panel and the um, etc. and we changed that at a council level. So it's been done before, graciously and finally. But I think we've just, to be honest, made, made, made eggs of ourselves here. And uh, it's going to get very, very expensive if we don't go down this unfortunate road. So, yeah, I'll, I'll very uncomfortably support the motion. 
Yeah, it's just okay, embarrassing. Councillor Pascoe. Yeah, just very briefly, um, I um, voted uh, along the lines of the amendment last time, and I won't be changing my vote at all this time. Um, but look, a recommendation to council is exactly that. It allows for the opportunity for us to reconsider a decision. And when I think back to my very, very short term on council, I can remember Fifokariki as being one of those recommendations where we decided to sell off a block of land for housing. And then when it came back to council... Um, after, after MT or after <laughs> whatever, um, we, uh, we changed our minds and we did that, uh, as it turns out, for exactly the right reason, even though um, a number of us changed our minds in that, in that interim period. Um, and I believe that this happened a number of times and my brain is so fried at the moment. Uh, from all these meetings we've had over the last few weeks that I can't remember the instances during the last term, but it was quite frequent that we brought matters back during the last term uh, with a different group of uh, councillors sitting around the table and managed to get um, some earlier decisions changed. So, um, um, so I'm not making any changes. My change, my agree, my reason for staying with the vote that I did last time is for the right reason, and that's to encourage. Um, uh, and, and I'm not scared from the point of view of litigation uh, for the organisation from, uh, any, uh, from any applicant who might consider that they have been disadvantaged. I think the right reasons behind the, um, uh, the right arguments behind slowing the speed down uh, remain the right decision for moving forward. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor Hamilton. Thanks, and I share uh, uh, Councillor Rob's courage as well. I'm not intimidated by anything happening here. The only thing I could say different uh, than what I said last time is Robin said that eventually this piece of traffic would have to be slowed down anyway. It's just that this opportunity has brought that forward. And the thing about this opportunity is we've got foodstuffs paying, I think, circa $14 million intersection at Karua, which when we first had this discussion back when they challenged us, they weren't interested and they were balking and talking about proportionality. They came back and said, all right, all right, we'll pay the full amount. And so all we're really doing is changing a, a little tiny bit of road that's uh, academically not going to change much at all um, so that we get a, a massive uh, foodstuffs pack and safe, which gives us better food pricing, employment, construction, et cetera. So I'm pleased to see this uh, come back. Thank you. Any further debate? Sarah. Sarah. I can't see Sarah, sorry. Sarah. Thank you, Mepola. Um, thank you. Uh, firstly, so I just wanted to clarify, I, I, I'm receiving a notification of this proposal from staff, but I did um, receive notification from the Deputy Mayor earlier this morning, so um, just to clarify that. Um, uh, in terms of this proposal, for me it was um, a very fine line in the last debate, and, and again, it's a fine line, but um, last time it was Councillor Angela's words that, that swayed me because um, she spoke very strongly around the consultation and that we heard strongly from about 80% of submitters that they didn't want this change. And I'm um, very happy to go against a majority of submissions if I believe it is absolutely the right thing to do and it's going to um, have good outcomes in the longer term, but here we're looking at a, a speed limit change, um, which by itself, just posting a sign doesn't make a huge difference. Um, we're not, there, there will be very little in terms of any, well, there's nothing proposed to actually physically make these intersections safer to create a slower speed environment. So um, I guess uh, weighing that up, I'm still going to stay with my original vote. There's nothing in between has changed for me, but absolutely I support the comments that have been made around um, the council's absolutely within its right to always bring things back. And we saw with um, the recent vote around Māori wards that that was a positive thing. So I um, absolutely support that ability to do that. Thanks. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, in right of reply, I'm not going to add much, actually. I think it's all been said. It was a very nuanced debate last time, um, and it remains the case, and this is an interesting thing for me, where you've got the tension between enable, enabling business and responding to huge um, community 
request um, and it's it wasn't predominantly about safety because we were told that the speed varies on that stretch as it is uh, and it is a it is a key route so I, I'm still in the same position um, as I say whichever way the, the vote turns is fine by me but um, I do think um, having had all the debate more robustly than we've had today at the last committee I'm not um, in a position of change at this point in time Excellent. Let's go to the vote. So we put the amendment first. The amendment. Can you put that up, please? Yep, it's coming up. I think, isn't it? So that's Councillor McPherson and Councillor Pascoe. All in favour, please raise your hands loftily. Okay. So those for the amendment, Councillor Pascoe, Deputy Mayor. Taylor, Councillor Bunting, Councillor McPherson, Councillor Hamilton, Councillor Gallagher, Councillor Van Oosten. Those against, please raise your hand. Councillor Donovan, Councillor Wilson, Mayor Southgate, and Councillor Thompson. Can you call the result, please? The amendment is carried. The amendment is carried. So now the amendment becomes the substantive motion. Uh, all in favour, please raise your hands. Those for the amendment is a substantive motion. Councillor Pascoe, Councillor Donovan, Councillor Taylor, Councillor Bunting, Councillor McPherson, Councillor Hamilton, Councillor Gallagher, Mayor Southgate, Councillor Thompson and Councillor Van Oosten. Those against? Proud and loud. Really, my friend. <laughs> Councillor Wilson, against. The motion is carried. Thank you, Council. Um, let me just check if we got else we got to do. Nothing? Is that it? So that brings us to an end, and I want to wish you all happy drinks. Unfortunately, because we've run late, I won't be able to join you for drinks, but I'll catch up with Becca before she goes. Um, a safe and happy holiday, everybody, to those that I don't see between now and the 22nd when I'll be leaving. Um, anyone who's around mid-January, um, sing out. We'll go for lunch, coffee, get our head in the game for next year. Right, thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.